Isso é uma chamada de precisão da sua moto, ou uma hora de
The sun is one, and as by the reflection of the sun, the moon illuminates, so also do the stars. Since Bhagavad Gita indicates herein that the moon is one of the stars, the twinkling stars are not suns, but are similar to the moon. 在闪烁于天空的发光体中太阳最重要 
，所以闪闪的行星并不是太阳，而是月亮的同类。So he's describing his vibhutis, or what are known as his opulences. So Krishna is telling his vibhuti, or his opulences. So he mentions first of all here that of the adityas he is Vishnu. So he first he mentions that he is in adityas he is Vishnu. The adityas are the sons of Aditi. Aditya is the Aditi sister. There are two famous sisters. One is Diti, and the other is Aditi. They were both wives of the great sage Kashyapa. Although they were both married to the same husband, they did not quarrel with each other. Just imagine, how would it be possible today? Two sisters married to the same man, they would fight like cat and dog. Uh, However, Mother Aditi, she is the mother of demigods. And it's mentioned here there are twelve. Adityas, there were twelve sons born from the womb of Aditi. And the principal, the most well known of them, is Lord Vishnu. Actually, Lord Vishnu comes in the form of Upendra, the dwarf Brahma. Uh, Jewish, uh, the Brahman, the, the, he took birth as a Brahmana dwarf and he came and begged charity from Bali Maharaj. Bali Maharaj was leading the army of the demons and they had defeated the demigods and took control of the heavenly planet. So Mother Aditi felt very sorry for her sons that they had been driven out of the heavenly planets by the demons. But she got a benediction from her husband that she could conceive a child who would be an incarnation of the Lord and who would take back the heavenly planets for her children. So in this way, Mother Aditi, uh, she gave birth to Vamanadev, the dwarf incarnation of the Lord. And Lord Vamanadev came and begged charity from Bali Maharaj. And Bali Maharaj is the king of the demons. He'd been told by his guru, Sukracharya, that you should give charity to the Brahmanas. 
，呃，巴黎马哈拉知道他是论文的统帅，但是他的灵性告老师告诉他，你应该给婆罗门布什。So many brahmanas were accustomed to come to Gandhi Maharaj and beg charity, and he would be happy to give them whatever they wanted. So many brahmanas would come to Gandhi Maharaj and beg charity, and he would be happy to give them whatever they wanted. So many brahmanas would come to Gandhi Maharaj and beg charity, and he would be happy to give them whatever they wanted. However, when Lord Ramana Dev came there, then Sukracharya, the the guru of Gandhi Maharaj, told Gandhi Maharaj, "Don't give him charity." 呃，但是当巴马拉这个小矮人来到巴利马哈拉这这里求布施的时候，呃，他的灵性导师 Super Chara 就对巴利马哈拉就说，呃，不要给这个人布施。He told him this this Brahmana boy is the incarnation of he's the Lord, the Supreme Lord himself, and he's going to take everything away from you. 他的灵性导师就告诉他，啊，这个巴马拉呢，他是主的化身，他会把你所有的一切都拿走。But Bali Maharaj said, "Well, you told me before I should give charity to Brahmins." And Bali Maharaj said, "If he is the Lord, then he can take he can take everything from me." Bali Maharaj said, "If he is the Lord, then he can take he can take everything from me." So it's better I give him rather than he takes it by force. 如果是这样，呃，不如我把一切奉献给他，而不是让他从我这里拿走。If I give him the in charity, then I I get the benefit of giving charity to the Lord. 那么，因为如果我对主布施的话，我会被呃给予布施的好处。And if I don't give him, he can take it from me anyway. 呃，如果不给他的话，如果他是主，他无论怎样都可以把一切从我这里拿走。So better I give him. But his guru was not happy with this, and his guru cursed him that you're disobeying my orders. Uh, 但是他的灵性导师不是很开心啊，所以灵性导师就诅咒了他，因为违背了他的训示。And when you take instruction from the spiritual master, you're expected to follow the instruction. 当你从灵性导师那里得到训示的时候，你应该遵循他们。If you don't follow the instructions of the spiritual teacher, then you don't get the mercy of the guru anymore. 如果你不遵循灵性导师的训示，你就不会得到不如的仁慈。And so Krishnaya had already saved the life of Bali Maharaj. 呃，之前 Krishnaya 是拯救过巴利马哈拉什的生命。One time in a great battle with the demigods, Bali Maharaj had been killed by the demigods, but this guru. Brought him back to life. So his guru was very powerful, and Bali Maharaj had faith in his guru. So his guru was very powerful, and Bali Maharaj had faith in his guru. But when his guru told him don't give charity, then Bali Maharaj had doubts. Before you told me to give charity, now you're changing your instruction. 但是当灵性导师告诉巴利马哈拉什不要去给这个人布施的时候，他产生了疑惑，因为之前呃，布鲁说要给布施，但是现在他把自己的这个想法改变了。And in this way, Bali Maharaj gave charity to Lord Vamana Dev. 嗯，所以最后巴利马哈拉什还是给了主巴巴呢。And Bhavana Dev simply wanted three steps of land. Bhavana Dev, he wanted to have three steps of land. But when he took the first step, he covered half of the universe. But he wanted to have three steps of land. But when he took the first step, he covered half of the universe. But when he took the first step, he covered half of the universe. And with the second step, he covered the entire universe. Starting with the first step, he covered. He covered half of the universe, and then he covered the other half. Um, he went to the first step. He covered half of the universe. He covered the other half. He covered the other half. He covered the other half. So then, Lord Vamana did challenge Bali Maharaj that you promised me three steps of land. There is nowhere remaining for me to take the third step. 
呃，万分的的询问巴黎马哈老师，您许诺给我，呃，我可以拿走三个步子这么大的土地，但是现在我已经把整个宇宙都占据了，呃，你还有什么可以给我的呢？ There is no place remaining for me to take the third step. <laughs> But Bali Maharaj was found to truthfulness. <laughs> And when he was in this situation, he, he said to Lord Brahmadev, You can take the third step on my head. So in this way, Bali Maharaj became famous as a devotee who surrendered everything to the Lord. Uh, so in this way, Bali Maharaj became famous as a devotee who surrendered everything to the Lord. So in this way, Bali Maharaj became famous as a devotee who surrendered everything to the Lord. He was the king of heaven. He was controlling the heavenly planets, and the Lord King, Lord Brahmadev, came and took everything away from him. 他是天堂星宿的主人，他掌管着整个天堂星宿。但是主爸爸呢来了，把一切都拿走了。And then he surrendered even his own body. He told the Lord to take the third step on his head. 呃，最终他甚至把自己的躯体也献给了主。他说：“把你的第三步踩在我的头上吧。” So that was the ultimate surrender. It's the most difficult of all kinds of devotional service to surrender everything. 这是最终的臣服，呃，是放在服当中最最后的臣服，把一切都给 Krishna。So in this way we understand that、uh, of the Adijas, Lord Krishna said, "I am Vishnu." 嗯、呃，所以在阿底提亚之中，呃，主 Krishna 说我是 Vishnu。And then he says, "Of light, I am the radiant sun." 然后他说，在呃。So Shri Prabhupada explains that the sun is like the eye of the Supreme Lord. Prabhupada 解释到，太阳像是呃主的眼睛。The the sun is rotating, mounting the wheel of time. 呃，太阳是时间的呃车轴。As the sun rises and sets. The day goes. Another day is gone. We're nearer to death. 随着日升日落，一天开启又结束。Another day is lost. That brings us close closer to the end of our life. 啊，当一天又结束了的时候，我们离死亡又近了一步。So the sun mounts the wheel of time. 啊，所以太阳它就像是时间的车轮一样。And Shri Prabhupada points out that there's only one sun in the universe. Prabhupada 指出来，呃，宇宙当中只有一个太阳。We don't accept the theory that there are many suns, but according to the Vedas, there's only one sun in each universe. 根据伟大的理论，呃，每个宇宙当中只有一个太阳，所以我们不接受说，呃，有很多太阳这样子的说法。The sun is the king of all planets. 呃，太阳是所有星球的主人。And Lord Ramachandra he took his birth in the dynasty coming from the sun god. 呃，主 Ramachandra 他的出生就是太阳系的后裔。Lord Krishna he appeared in the dynasty coming from the moon. 呃，而主 Krishna 他是月亮系的后裔。There are two lines of Kshatriya kings. One is from the sun and one is from the moon. 呃，作为刹帝利呢，他们有两个传承，一个是来自于太阳，一个是来自于月亮。So Lord Ramachandra, you can see over here the deities over here in the corner. Those are the deities of Sita, Rama, Lakshman, and Hanuman. 呃，我们可以看到角落里的神像，他们是 Rama, Sita, Lakshman 和 Hanuman. So Lord Rama, he appears in the dynasty coming from the sun god. And in the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna also explained that millions of years ago, he spoke the knowledge of the Bhagavad Gita to the sun god. 在国家梵歌当中，主 Krishna 也说到，在很多年前，啊，他向太阳神传授了这门知识。In my Vishwate Yoga, Krupa Brahma Hamavya. Vishwan manavikrahur manavikshvakavikravit. 
Lord Krishna describes, he gave the knowledge to the son God Vibhishwan, Vibhishwan gave it to Manu, then Manu gave it to Ikshvaku. In this way, the knowledge was passed to the saintly kings. But in course of time, the knowledge was lost, and the Lord had to come and re establish the teachings of the so Lord Krishna says of the radiant light he is the sun. And then he said of the Maruts I am Marichi. So the Maruts are described also in the Srimad Bhagavatam. They are demigods and the chief of them is Marichi. And so it's described in Srimad Bhagavatam how at one point uh, Indra knew that uh, Mother Aditi, Mother Aditi was doing a sacrifice to get a child who could kill who could kill Indra. So Indra then entered into the room of Deity and killed the child, dividing the child into 49 pieces. First he divided it into seven, and then he divided each of the seven people pieces into seven more. And each of these pieces became one of the marrows. There are forty-nine marrows. And the fiftieth is Malichi, he is the chief of the Maruts. And the Maruts are in charge of the airs which flow in the material world. So, and we were explaining this morning how there are deities, different demigods in charge of different parts of the body. We were hearing about Varuna, how he is in charge for the taste which we perceive with the tongue. So the different airs which are flowing within the body, they are under the jurisdiction of the Maruts. And the chief of the Maruts is Marichi. So Lord Krishna says of the Maruts, I am Marichi. And then finally he said of the stars, I am the moon. And so sometimes people think the moon is, uh, that, that they don't understand the moon to be one of the stars. They think the moon is something independent from the other planets. But the moon actually, it's explained in the Vedas that the light coming from the moon is the reflection which comes from the, the sun, which comes from the Brahma Jyoti. So the moon is very cooling. The sun is heating, but the moon is cooling. And it's, the moon is considered to be one of the stars there in the sky. And of all the stars, the moon is considered the most important. And the moon 
is one of the heavenly planets. So when the, when the astronauts were going to the moon, Prabhupada said, they cannot go to the moon so easily because the moon is one of the heavenly planets. To enter into the higher planets, they have to have pious activities. Cannot just simply go by mechanical means. That that is the demonic method. That is the the way of the demons like Rama. Uh, well, there was a demon Ravana who, who was ultimately killed by Lord Ramachandra. So Ravana at one point he wanted to go to the higher planets and he was building a staircase to go up to the heavenly planet. So he was thinking by mechanical means he could go there. And the same way modern scientists were claiming that they went there by their spaceship. But actually, you want to go to heavenly planets, you want to go to the moon, you want to go there, you have to, you have to go by pious activities. Uh, if you go there, you won't be able to stay there. You'll finish when your pious activities are finished, then you have to come back. So going to the higher planets doesn't solve the problem of birth and death. Lord Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Abrahma Bhuvana Loka Punya Avartino Arjuna. From the highest planet in the in the material universe, the planet of Lord Brahma, down to the lowest, all are places of birth and death. And so intelligent people will not waste their time in trying to go to higher planets. But they'll think how to get out of the material world. Alright, so are there any questions today? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, Maharaj, how should we understand that Bhavi Maharaj, he did not follow the instruction, although he didn't follow the instruction of his guru, but he got the mercy of the Lord. It sometimes seems like contradictory because we say like you have to follow the guru in order to get Krishna's mercy. So, how do we understand that? Well, you have to understand that his guru was a materialistic guru. He was not a pure devotee. So when he was instructing Bali Maharaj, he was instructing Bali Maharaj in how to be successful in his material life. And when Lord Ramanadeva appeared, then Sukracharya was worried that that this 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 dwarf will take away all the wealth of my disciple. So if my disciple has no wealth anymore, they won't be able to take care of me. 
So he was telling his, his he was telling Bali Maharaj, don't give him any charity. So he Bali Maharaj, He wasn't thinking of the spiritual welfare of Bali Maharaj. Rather, he was thinking of his own situation. He was thinking, I've helped my disciple become powerful and successful materially. But he did not think about the spiritual welfare of his disciple. So Bali Maharaj was glorified because he disobeyed the order of his guru. If the guru will give some instruction which is against the principles of devotional service, then we should give up that guru. So sometimes you have to disobey the order of the guru if the instructions are not going to help you to develop your Krishna consciousness, then you have to give up. So the example is very important that Bali Maharaj disobeyed the orders of his guru because his guru was not helping him go back to God. So Bali Maharaj, this example is very important. He disobeyed the orders of his guru because his guru was not helping him go back to God. For his spiritual benefit, he disobeyed the orders of the spirit. Any other question? How do we understand that the instruction of the spiritual master is also the blessing of the spiritual master? Yes, the instructions of the spiritual master can be seen as a blessing if the spiritual master is helping us to develop our Krishna consciousness. As we said, Shukra Acharya was an Acharya based on his birthright, not on his devotional call. Sukra means Siman. So based on the, his Siman, he had become an Acharya. So he became the guru not by qualification but by birthright. So that is not actually Acharya. Acharya is someone his position is achieved by spiritual perfection. Not by birthright. So blessings of the spiritual master are very good if they're for our spiritual benefit. But if you want material benefit, then you get a materialistic guru, and he will also bless you. Right? Gong Si Ba Tai. We say Gong Si Ba Tai. May you be prosperous. May you have a lot of wealth. So we You know, it's all material blessings, right?
but we bless someone, Krishna Matir Vastu, may you always remember Krishna, may you always remain in Krishna consciousness. So that is the real blessing of the Guru. That you will always remain in Krishna consciousness. But if you want material blessings, then you get them from a materialistic Guru, not the genuine spiritual teacher. You know, there are some spiritual, there are some so-called gurus, they can produce gold or they can cure the disease. So they attract many followers, they get many people, people who want wealth, and people who want to be cured of their disease, they will go to that kind of food. But the genuine devotee wants to get spiritual knowledge, he wants to get free of material life, so he will approach a genuine spiritual teaching. They're not interested to just cure the disease or to get material wealth. They know these things are very temporary. You have some money, how long can you keep it? Very soon it will all be gone. And you cure one disease, another disease will come, and you still have a material body, one day you're going to die. So the blessings of the Guru is to take us out of the material. To bring us back to Godhead, back to our spiritual home. To give us a spiritual body with no more old age, disease, or death. So you want that kind of blessing. You have to give the genuine spiritual teaching to get it. But if you get somebody like Shukracharya, then it's a different. He's powerful, he's got powers, magic powers, he can do amazing things. But he's not pure. So he cannot give you Krishna consciousness. So,一看这个办法给你Krishna去去。嗯,第二个问题是,我有两个问题。第一个问题就是,把他那里所讲的这个月亮,是我们现在肉眼所,物质世界所说的肉眼的,我看到的这个月亮。第二个问题是, 就是当,呃,把台上讲,如果日食出现的话,是,呃,是软护心挡住了太阳。呃,而不是月亮,而不是物质,知识里讲的是月亮挡住了太阳。那我理解软护心应该是很,很大的,就是离我们很近的。呃
呃，这个月亮是同一只月亮，伟达强的月亮和我们看到的月亮，然后我们会看到每天月亮有一个变化，西月满月亮就每天的变化。So in one month, you, you can see the full changes of the moon from the light moon to the dark moon. So the calendar is based on the moon. So our 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 calendar is based on the moon. These days we say that the eclipse is because the moon covers the 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 sun. The mountain people say that. So um, when we say the astrologists, astro, they go to the moon. Is they, they actually went to the Wahoo planet? Wahoo planet instead of the moon. Yes, Rahu. Rahu is an invisible planet, but it comes. It covers it. it During the eclipse, it will come in front of the sun, or sometimes in front of the moon. Sometimes it will be solar eclipse, sometimes lunar eclipse. And it said at that time, Rahu is coming in front and covering the earth. Ah, sometimes we have full moon. 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 Sometimes we have Not a good place to go. And so sometimes it was suggested by Prabhupada that if they went anywhere, if they went to some other planet, maybe they went to Rahu. But uh, the sun and the moon, they are heavenly planets. They have to be very pious to go there. 呃，但是太阳和月亮是天道星宿，一个人需要有很多虔诚活动才能去那里。But Rahu was a demon. 呃，但是 Rahu 他是一个魔，在地方。嗯，就是 form of a planet. And so to go there to Rahu, you know, you become a demon. You become. 呃，刚才他认识的其实是 Rahu， 他其实是一个恶魔，他展示的形体是呃一个星球。嗯。She's also asking where is Wahoo? Well, where is it? It's an invisible planet. Um, where is it? In what place? It's a invisible, invisible planet. But it said that there was this demon Rahu. He drank the nectar when Mohini Murti, when the demigods and the demons were churning the ocean of milk. So Mohini Murti came and took the nectar, and she was distributing the nectar to the demigods. 呃，所以传说在半神人搅拌这个牛奶这样的时候，呃，蒙比尼波，然后他来了，就拿了一点甘露。So the 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 she wants she wanted to give the nectar to the demigods, but Rahu, one of the demons, sat among all the demigods, and he got some of the nectar also. 呃，他其实想把这个甘露分给半神人，呃，但是 Rahu 作为一个恶魔，他就坐在了半神的之中。And just as he drank the nectar, then it was realized who is the demon. So they cut off the head of the demon. But they'd already drank the nectar, so the head didn't die, but the rest of the body died. So that head of the demon became the planet Rahu. 呃，所以恶魔的这个头就成为了挖苦这个星球。嗯， so it, it's uh only in Vedic astrology. You don't hear about Rahu in the modern astrology. They they wouldn't accept that there is such a planet as Rahu. 呃，只是在伟达的这个天文学中，我们可以听到挖苦这个星球。现在的天文学他们不会接受这种说法。One of the invisible planets there in the sky, and sometimes when there's an eclipse, they, they say this is Rahu covering the sun or the moon. Okay. 感恩国君的讲课，我想问问那个太阳神、月亮神
呃月月老神是不是一个职位？那么是不是很多的人都可以做到这个职位上，掌管太阳和月亮？那么呃这个就是这个太阳神和这个月亮神。他们也本身也会因为虔诚活动耗尽了，然后掉落到地球上来吗？嗯、uh, ，Manchi's question is the sun god or moon god? Um, is it also some sort of like a position in the universe? So once their pious activities run out, will the sun god or the moon god fall into fall into the lower planet as well? Yes, well, the other is a position which is given just like Indra, the king of heaven, is a position. So similarly, also the sun god, the moon god, there are different personalities who take that position. And they will take that position for some time. Of course, there's the sun and the moon in every universe. So there are many sun gods and moon gods in every universe. You have a sun and a moon. Uh, 当然了，在每一个宇宙当中都有一个太阳，都有一个月亮，太都有一个太阳神，都有一个月亮神。而我们又有无数的宇宙。So these personalities will take the position for some time, maybe for for the duration of the life of Lord Brahma. 呃，所以一些人呢，他就会掌管太阳神这个职位，呃，一段时间，可能是不然后的一生。And maybe they'll go back to Godhead. 呃，可能他们也会回归神圣。And they're very pious and very pure, and they don't become affected by their position. Then they can go back to Godhead. 如果他们很虔诚、很纯粹的话，不被自己这种崇高的职位所呃所影响。But if they're influenced by material pride. Then they come back again. Oh, but if they are influenced by material pride, then they will come back again. Oh, but if they are influenced by material pride, then they will come back again. Oh, but if they are influenced by material pride, then they will come back again. Oh, but if they are influenced by material pride, then they will come back again. Oh, but if they are influenced by material pride, then they will come back again. Oh, but if they are influenced by material pride, then they will come back again. Oh, but if they are influenced by material pride, then they will come back again. Oh, but if they are influenced by material pride, then they will come back again. Oh, but if they are influenced by material pride, then they will come back again. Oh, but if they are influenced by material pride, then they will come back again. Oh, but if they are influenced by material pride, then they will come back again. Oh, but if they are influenced by material pride, then they will come back again. Oh, but if they are influenced by material pride, then they will come back again. Oh, but if they are influenced by material pride, then they will come back again. Oh, but if they are influenced by material pride, then they will come back again. Oh, but if they are influenced by material pride, then they will come back again. Oh, but if they are influenced by material 呃，我我可能会到月球上去传播微信啊，直接因为那里的人很堕落。这个说法有这个说法吗 ？Somebody asked how to send a special data cord. Where will you go to preach Krishna consciousness after you leave the body? He said he will go to the moon because the people are very fallen on the moon. Is that true? Never heard. Never heard. Never heard. Never heard. Did you hear it? 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 Did So he's saying, I don't know. I never heard it before. Chaitanya Hari Prabhu said he had it before. Ah, Chaitanya Hari Prabhu, he had it before. Say something. Huh? I go back and say something. Information like that. Where? I can say something. Okay. Yeah. We will research. Um, he didn't say he did a research. Okay. Hari Krishna. Hari Krishna. Hari Krishna. Hari Krishna. Yeah.